Why are you videoing? What's that? Why are you videoing? Why not? I didn't give you permission to video. Um, can you I have it? No. Okay, we don't need your permission. I don't want your. I don't want you to video me. Okay. Like, why do you guys think it's okay to just be here to intimidate people? I'm not intimidating this anybody. This is really intimidating. Are you feeling intimidated? Yes, I am. Okay, that's your feelings, not mine. That will. Too bad. I mean, you guys have your face covered, like there's some Is that illegal? Is that unlawful? It's not illegal, but okay. I mean, what kind of fucking bitch you know there, you to cover your face wow. like that? You know there's been like 10 people in here that have come in with face coverings? Are you going to go yell at them too? I'm yelling at you trying to videotape me with face coverings on. Okay, well. Freedom of speech, just like I have freedom of press. But why are you trying to invade my privacy? You don't have privacy in public. I know, but I mean, there you, go. Not, you guys are just trying to be intimidating so to people. I'm not you intimidating think we anybody. Want you around here like this? Who's okay. We? You're speaking on behalf of I, yourself. No, I'm, I am speaking on behalf of myself, and I'm sure these people don't like this unholy mother. Okay. Face you want to bet? I've been getting nice, well, friendly hellos. Okay. Someone sounds a little upset today. Okay. okay. And that's your right to do that. I mean, don't you guys have better? Shit to do like for real. Actually, where's your job? I just retired. You Why would you want a job? I'm not. I got a job. Trust Why me. would you want one? You just, I'm retired. Get something else to do. Like I don't have to. Don't How? Have so what right do you well, feel? It is what PM, what so. right do you think you have to tell me what to do? I, Business hours are still exactly. here. You're not in charge with That's anybody. my right. What about okay. freedom of press? What about freedom of press? It's is this speech, press? not fun. It's speech, not speech. Look at you fools. Look, what about freedom of press? Look at you fools. Just here at the post office got ain't shit to do except video people. Uh -huh. And they cover their face so you don't see what idiots they are. No, because I've elected not to get video tape. No, it's public. because you don't want to look like a idiot in front of all these people, that's why. Not at all. You probably got jobs and stuff that you're worried about. I'm actually like retired. This. More, more. Retired. I am okay. retired, yep. From what? I don't have to share that with you. Because you don't have shit to be retired from. Uh-huh, okay. Assumptions are the Look gateway to hell. stupid ass people. Okay. Like, for real. Dang. I hope you're not religious, because if God was one of us, you failed. People. I am not religious, okay? Perfect, that's we good. Unholy mother... Yeah. Like, look at this. We can tell. You think that's is this illegal? Is that Hold on. Legal? She really thinks she is doing something, but all she's doing is creating a disturbance. I'm not saying it's you illegal, what? but I'm saying is you guys look God like idiots. Freedom of speech. God will love that shirt. Freedom exactly. of speech. God will love his shirt. These animals got nothing else better to do. Yeah. Okay. And get a f***ing And what? we have been insulted or cussed at you one time. What's the purpose? I don't have to explain that to you. What's the I don't well, explain that to people you know, that I'm refuse not to understand. You, explain. I'm just asking, you just asked. I'm asking everybody else. What asked. is the purpose? You don't need to know. Nobody's listening to you. You're just looking stupid. You notice how everybody else is staying out of it? You notice how everybody else is staying out of it? Usually the loudest one is the dumbest one. Just like you said, freedom of speech. Usually the loudest one is the dumbest one. Okay. You approved that today. I did. You're right. But I guess ignorance is bliss, right? <laughs> If you knew how many degrees you go on with your day, man. So ridiculous. You go on with your day. So not learning a goddamn thing. That's all right. We're not harassed. You harassed Don't us for the last five minutes. Don't let the fear get to you. Uh, yeah, see, she's she's having a problem with it. She's telling you okay. Because you're throwing a fit because in the tantrum. You're making her scared. You're making her scared, yeah. Okay, yeah Calm me. down. I'm making her scared. Like, look how everybody's so relaxed over here. Okay. So, um, so just break this and tell them to do it. You ask had the you option know. to just ignore us hey, and you didn't. You so you started harassing us. Ask her what country she's from? from. What does that matter? Are you trying to be racist? What does that matter? What does it matter what country she's from? Because we live in America, but we're free. Okay. That's, well, she, why, that's why she's here. That's why it matters. That's why it matters. That's why it matters. She is heated over us exercising our rights in public. She needs to take a breather. That's why it matters. It's a white supremacy. Right oh, I love Wait, it. When did Generalizing. You, hold on, when did you turn right? Or white? I'm white? Yeah, when did he turn white? Did you just make him white or you're assuming race? 
Ay, pero soy blanco, ¿verdad? Pinche pendeja babosa. Pero soy blanco, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, soy blanco. Ah. That was great. She ah, called you a white so supremacist. Blanco. I've never seen a... Como que no conozco español, ¿verdad? Eh? I've never ah. seen a Hispanic white supremacist before. That's new. Yeah, Hispanic white supremacist. You know, that's, you know you're defaming me right now, right? I can see you. <laughs> you know you're defaming me? Call me a white supremacist. No, no. No, you're harassing me. Because she started harassing me. She called me a white supremacist. Talking, talking, talking. She called me a white supremacist. Is that okay? Yeah. Stop it, man. Is that okay? No, it's not okay if you're harassing people because Nobody's she just stopped anybody. talking. I'm really? You stop shitting. She spent 10 minutes cussing us out and we're the ones harassing? She literally spent 10 minutes cussing us out and calling us names, but we're harassing. I never said shut the f up, but. You absolutely since, did. Since you're saying it, you yeah, absolutely did. Up. You absolutely did. It's on camera. You just said it right now. Just okay. You else literally better just said it right now. And there she goes again. Nothing else better to do. Call police now. I didn't say it's illegal, I'm just saying you guys are uh, losers. No one is forcing you to stand here in line. You can always go to another post office. They have nothing else better and you're to projecting. Do. <laughs> Must be nice to live in a coddled bubble. Yeah, that's not right. there. You're right back coming too. Must be nice to have nothing to do with that. My day off. There it is. She's projecting. It's yeah. her day off. Come on. Projecting what? My day off? I work. I have a day off. So you got nothing better else to do. Man, you think we got nothing better else to do? I'm actually trying to do it. I need to get a QR code. That's called projection. Okay, then. So, you have QR code too, right? Okay. Both of you go to my window. I'll help you there, okay? Okay. And then... Uh, this is so crazy. Why were you guys in here with masks on? Are we not allowed to be? This is like you're like being intimidating to people. People okay. are just trying to I haven't to intimidated anybody. This is so crazy. Am I stopping from saying no? No, but this is like weird. This is like so weird. Yeah, but that's your opinion, right? That's your opinion. But oh my gosh, why would you want to be in a. People are just trying to send out their packages. Then send it. I'm just trying to take some pictures. I didn't oh my say. Gosh, of what? I didn't say oh anything to you. Aye, aye, aye. I didn't say anything to you. Just mind your own business. Oh my gosh, but you have a camera on okay. everybody. This is so weird. There's a camera right there. A camera oh my gosh, there. but right there. yes, there. And I have access there. to those. Oh my god, I have access there. Oh my. Julia's figuring it out. So I'm doing something about it. You yeah, you know the First Amendment? Yeah. We're practicing our First Amendment. Yeah, we're making them proud. Me asking you why you're in here intimidating people with masks on have anything to do with me fighting for my So, is she intimidating because she has a mask? Are you going to go? Exactly my point. They only hate when we are the ones wearing the mask. My point. Literally, my point. If you're gonna complain about wearing masks, you gotta complain about everybody wearing a mask. No, they don't. The creepy, scary She's mask. She's not with intimidating the anybody. On. Really? No, it is. You guys are loud, making Ooh. a scene. They're scared. We weren't being talked to. Yeah, you scary ass scene. Fucker, go away. You are the scene. scene. You are not the at all. Scene. We didn't talk to anybody. You were being loud. And you're being that loud. was him. <laughs> that was him being loud. And right now, that's you being loud. If you guys would shut up, everybody else would be quiet. Can you turn that down? Nope, not at all. Turn it up. There you go. If you touch it, that's I'm battery. I'm not touching it. I ain't touching it. I ain't touching it. You know what? Record this. I ain't touching when they, it. When the sheriff do get here. No, call the sheriff. I'm harassing you guys, so call the sheriff. You need to back up. Are you mailing anything? No, but he needs to back up. What do you need He's harassing you. Oh, I was just going to ask if you could call like the security officer. Okay, you're literally the person that's created all of this. If you will be gone, we will let him Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. So, uh, coming up. Hmm? Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't want to answer. No, I was going to pick up. Pick up now? Yeah. Okay. No, right, okay. Uh, because this is a topic, and uh, they have a first no, amendment. No, but, yeah. And, and, and he has no business here. He's done, and she's done. Sorry, man. Look at it. 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 Look at it.
Quiet. Here's no business in here. Look at it. The, the Karens stopped talking. Nice and zen. <laughs> She's not gonna cost her over her mask though. You notice how peaceful it is when the Karens stop talking? We don't have to yell anymore. We're not talking over anybody anymore. It's just quiet. Everybody can get their business done. Do you see how quiet it gets when the complainers stop complaining? We've now been recording for about 20 minutes with not one outburst, no one screaming or yelling over each other, none of it. Who does that? Who wastes police resources? You got his feelings in a bunch. You've been asked multiple times to stay away from us. After you assaulted me, especially. The postal employee asked him to leave, and here he is again. I asked you not to film me, and you, you don't have that choice. He's actually been done. Like, I these, guys do audit, these guys do audits all the time. They are not here every time you come to the post office. So have, what else? They what? have the right to be here. Okay. It's a First Amendment issue. Fine. They have a right to be here. Fine. They got the right to be okay. here. So the uh, Irvine has their own police department, which is right here. We've, we've had mostly good experiences with them, which is good. I'm, uh, I'm out of my business card, so I wrote it for you. You're fine. So that's the incident number. Okay. That's me, and that's my badge number. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Yeah, so uh, you already know we what lines we don't cross, man. And I'm, I'm telling you, like, the second we walked in there, that kid was just lost his goddamn mind and would not leave us alone, following us around. Like, he just he wouldn't stop. Even the supervisor had to tell him multiple times, you need to leave them alone. Like, there's nothing, you know? Can I get name and badge again? Name and badge real quick? Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How do you think they handled this situation? Thank you, guys. You guys be safe. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Sergeant, I do appreciate I didn't mean to snap at you, but I do appreciate that you did educate him a little bit. Sure. But, you know... We've spent 40 minutes dealing with him coming after us. He bumped into me multiple times. And it's just like, I, I feel like, you know, especially when you, I mean, you watched it happen right there, like uh, several times. Like he's just, he, we keep telling him very loudly, stay out of our space. And he just kept getting in our face multiple times. So, you know, when we maybe have instigated part of a conversation right here, but that, that's after dealing with this for 45 minutes, you know what I mean? Okay. And him getting in our face and us telling him back up, back up, back up. And it's like, come on, man. Like, so I hope you understand where we're coming from on that one, too. All right. So, you know, if he crosses the line and has actually physical contact. He did uh, twice. Okay. So, but I'm not going to push the issue. I got it on camera, though. Okay. But I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not here to ruin his day. You know, I just, somebody needed to tell him that he's doing unlawful things while we're doing lawful things. Okay. We're willing to take a report if you want, though. No, no, I'm fine. Okay. I appreciate it, though. Sure. I do appreciate it. You guys have a, a good night and stay safe. Okay, you guys. All right. Thank you. The sergeant should have come out way earlier and called him over or come over here and explained to him that he needs to stop advancing towards us because that's a criminal act while we are here doing something lawful and you know so the sergeant failed in that aspect but other than that he did educate him he didn't ask us for any of our details or information um so yeah
I was taking video. You right now. I don't need that in public. Is this another joke with a bar card that doesn't know his First Amendment? You better not say he's also an attorney that doesn't know his rights. Yeah. She said that with so much confidence. It's just weird All right. that you're doing this. Alright, you're both attorneys. I'm sorry you think the First Amendment's weird. The Bill of Rights is weird? That's crazy. I have a free copy of the Bill of Rights in my office. I'm happy. Then you shouldn't be unhappy about this. Wait, they, they, they all are apparently. <laughs> I don't know, but that's funny. <laughs> I wish the other lawyer was here. Uh huh? Can I ask what you're doing? I'm just taking some video. For, for what? Uh, do I have to disclose that to you? Uh, yes, sir. You do your own law property doing this, so I, I didn't know what you're Well, doing. we're on the public sidewalk. We're in front of our property. So, sidewalk no, no. There. In front and on are different things. Well, no, but we're on the public sidewalk right here. So, right. so what are you doing? Are you we're just talking? taking video. You can't be taking video of my, my guests in there. Is that unlawful? Can you just step down there, please? What so do you mean? But property. we're on the public sidewalk. Right now. No, no, we're allowed to. You're filming okay. our guests. And we don't You're not going to let me talk? Okay. okay. This is a constitutionally protected activity. You we're on a public it. sidewalk accessible to the public. Just because it's in front of your business doesn't mean we're suddenly able to be trespassed off of a public sidewalk. So why are you here? I'm taking video. I don't. I told for you that. What? I don't for have to. Purpose? I don't have to disclose that to you. Sure you do. No, we You're don't. filming people for no reason. Okay. Owed an explanation. I'm not owed an explanation. Alex. But anyways. The weird beard guy. Does the rise of social media undermine the integrity of traditional journalism or does it hold traditional journalism more accountable? Because if you remember, there used to be a time where it was hard to fact check and they could pretty much dribble anything they wanted and you would absorb that information and believe it. That's still true today. But you have the accessibility of more rapid fact-checking, I guess, is now a good way to put that, um, than you did, obviously, you know, two decades ago. But um, let me know what you think about that. Give us a call at 323-645-0410 or comment it below. We will pin the top comment and see how people feel or uh, react towards your comments. Let's take this phone call. Management. Yeah, um, there was a question about um, the Civil Rights Act on that. Um, there's a few things on that that would have sparked, uh, of course, you know, uh, Abraham Lincoln getting the freedom for the blacks or making them citizens. But I think the biggest act would have been um, the Marshall of Montgomery Ward, Alabama uh, Bridge, um, uh, things like that. Uh, Rose Park, uh, not getting off or sitting at the back of the bus, um, or the front of the bus. I don't have a hard time remembering. Um, things like that kind of sparked the, the civil rights movement. Um, and of course, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, had a lot to do with the two, which is a great man, some of the best writings in the world. So I did that in college. And, um, I'm a vet, and I am very proud of what you guys are doing, and this is exactly what I did my time for. So thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Bye.
That means so much to me hearing those mm-hmm. um, when our veterans call in and say, this is exactly what I fought for. Um, this is exactly what we sacrifice for is the very freedoms that we are able to exercise freely. And I think that that is an amazing experience. Um, the more of those that we get, it means a lot to us. It actually really does mean a lot mm-hmm. to us. And so if you are a veteran and you are a firm believer in the exercise of our rights, regardless if it makes a few people uncomfortable or uncozy or whatever it might make them feel. And I'd say a few because we've shown every day with that clicker now, since I installed that on my rig a couple weeks ago with the clicker, um, it's a few, a very tiny few people that feel uncomfortable enough to react and have a poor reaction to us. Um, Out of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and at Irvine, it was almost a 1,000 people. So it was like 890-something, 893 uh, people, I think, that came in and were unbothered by our existence for only a handful of people to just lose their shit or feel uncomfortable enough to um, say such. Uh, I think that when we get these calls, it is very important. and I would, you know, if you are a veteran, call in and explain how you feel about what we are doing. Uh, 323-645-0410 or comment here and we'll pin your comment as a veteran. Um, I, I definitely want to hear from you. I definitely want to hear how you guys feel, um, not just about what we do, but, you know, just overall about the freedoms that we have in this country. And... I would really like to hear from a veteran who is willing to share some of his, you know, uh, time in his service, time in, uh, time in your, uh, doing your service, performing your service. Um, if there's any interesting stories to tell, if there's a, you know, people that you know that lost their lives in defense of this beautiful country. Um, and, you know, I would like to hear from you. And, you know, if you happen to know somebody that, you know, paid the ultimate sacrifice, and you believe in what we do, absolutely give us a call. Um, I'd love to uh, hear from you, and we'll play those calls on here. Um, As you guys know, uh, veterans uh, to the front of the line for the most part with our calls, and so we appreciate your service, uh, and we appreciate your sacrifice more than any, and I definitely appreciate you calling in and letting us know that you fought in support of what we are doing, and that means so much to us, and I appreciate it. 